السلام علیکم بردر اینڈ سسٹرس اینڈ فرینڈس آئی ہوپ ایوری ون از فائن وتھ دا بلیسنگ آف آل مائی ٹی اللہ سو ود آؤٹ اینی ڈیلے لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو But then he also goes on and says, Jesus was a great prophet. Okay, he has respect, some respect for Jesus. But then he repeatedly says, Jesus is not God. He obviously never met Christ. He's born over 500 years after Christ. Now, I really respect the way Muhammad made one of the five pillars, give alms to the poor. I think that's tremendous and that's outstanding and I respect mm. that. But when Muhammad shows respect for Jesus, but simply as a prophet, We got a real problem here. Because this guy who Muhammad respects as a good prophet claims to be God. Why would I choose to trust Jesus instead of Muhammad? He obviously never met Christ. Matthew, Mark, John, Peter, James met Christ. And they all insisted that Christ claimed to be God. So obviously Muhammad never met Jesus, right? Born 570 years after the dude, right? They didn't meet him. The eyewitnesses, those who talked with Christ, insisted he claimed to be God. We heard him. So now you and I have a decision to make. Are we going to trust a guy who never met Jesus to be our primary source of information about Jesus? No. I'm going to look for the eyewitnesses. You mentioned Dr. a Zach lot of nice references of the Bible. Excellent. What about John 10.30? The Father and me are one. The brother quote a verse of the Bible, Gospel of John. chapter number 10 verse number 30 the father and me are one it is not the father and me are one it is i and my father mm. are one it's not the father and me are one now this quotation i and my father are one to know what it is you have to know the context you have to understand the context that i and my father are one to know this you have to go a few verses earlier if you read gospel of john chapter number 10 verse number 23 it speaks about the context that the jews they entered the temple in solomon's porch mm. verse number 23 verse number 24 says that the jews came upon jesus christ peace be upon him and they asked him how long does thou make us doubt if thou art the christ tell us plainly verse number 25 says i have told you but you believe not in me mm. the work that i do they bear witness of my father verse number 26 says you do not believe in me because you are not my sheep yes. verse number 27 says My sheep they hear me and they follow me. Verse number 28, I give them eternal life. No man can pluck them out of my hand. Verse number 29 says, My father that give it to me is greater than all. No man can pluck them out of my father's mm. hand. I and my father are one. So in context it means in purpose. Verse number 28 says that no man can pluck them out of my hand. Verse number 29 says, My father is greater than all. No man can pluck them out of my father's hand. Verse number 30, I and my father are one. So it means they are one in purpose. Mm. If I say my father is a medical doctor and he is a doctor, I am a medical doctor and my father are one, it means we are one in profession. Yes. It does not be one in person. But the Christians say no, no, it means one in person and my father are one indicates that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. If I agree for sake of argument, Further, if you read in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 21, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, My Father is in me, and I in thee. He tells his apostles, mm. to his twelve apostles, My Father is in me, I in thee, and we are one. The same one is yeah. used here. So do you mean to say there are 14 gods now? Father is mm. in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is in the apostles. So there will be 14 gods. So you have to coin a new word. Instead of Trinity, you have to coin a word for 14 gods. Your word, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, meant the same one was used, that one in purpose. And further it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 23, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, it is the apostles, that I am in you and you and me, we are one. That means one in purpose. Hmm, yes. And immediately you read further, Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse number 31, the Jews, they pick up stones to stone Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Verse number three to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, "Many of good works have I done. Yeah. For which of my good works do you stone me?" Verse number thirty-three. See, all this is from my head. Any Christian who has the Bible can open and check up all the references I'm giving. Gospel of John, chapter number ten, verse number thirty-three says that we don't stone you for good works. You, being a man, you blaspheme, saying, "I am God." Verse number thirty-four says that isn't it mentioned in your scriptures? 
that ye are gods and the one to whom the word of God comes is called as God. Your scripture is not broken. So here if you read in context that I and my father are one mm. is in purpose. It doesn't mean that they are one in unity and it doesn't claim at all that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Otherwise it would mean that there are 14 gods. So what it means is that the purpose of Almighty God and Jesus Christ, the messenger of God, is one and the same. Hope that answers the question. Brother, brother and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the answers of Dr. Zatar Naik because Dr. Zatar Naik always gave answers according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched his video till end. So in the first part of today's video, we have watched a video of Christian Barger who was talking to his audience in a public place and he was telling them that Prophet Muhammad sallam, did not accept Jesus Christ as a God but as we read in the book in the Holy Bible it is mentioned that Jesus Christ is the son of God it means he is also a God Astaghfirullah so he was telling them that Prophet Muhammad sallam, respected Jesus Christ so we do also respect Prophet Muhammad sallam, but the problem is when Prophet Muhammad says that Jesus is not a God but he is prophet of Allah then the conflict began and we don't accept his decisions about Jesus Christ. He was telling that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam born after the death of Jesus Christ almost 500 years later. Then how we can expect from Prophet Muhammad that he knew Jesus Christ more than Bible and other our scriptures. So that's why he was telling that this is the point where we don't, we agree with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So guys, what do you think about him? What he was telling to his audience is right or not? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And after that, we have watched the video of Dr. Zatzer Knight in which Dr. Zatzer Knight told us and our question was asked to him. It is mentioned in the Bible and Jesus Christ himself said in the Bible that I am the son of God. Then why people don't accept this statement of Jesus Christ? So Dr. Satan Knight listened to that question and he started giving the answers according to Bible and Quran as well. So guys, what do you think about Dr. Zatan Knight answers? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And if you are satisfied with the answers of Dr. Zatan Knight, then it's a request to you guys. Please share this video with your friends and family members so they can get benefit from it. And other request, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. So see you guys in next video till then Allah Hafiz.